So this is the way sports works, right? There's winners, there's losers. We have standings. Uh, your first place, last place, greatest this, greatest that. Uh, I can play along. Uh, Michael Jordan had the most uh, dominant stretch ever. Shaq was the most physically dominant player, along with Wilt. Uh, I think Magic had the greatest personality, the most fun basketball player of my life. I think Steph revolutionized the game. We don't do this in other businesses quite nearly as often. For instance, in Hollywood, who's the best director? Well, Spielberg does the blockbusters, and James Cameron, he does, like, the sci-fi thing. And then Scorsese does the mob flicks. They don't do it in tech either. Everybody's a specialist. He's best at this. He's best at AI. He's best at the phone. But in sports, this is just what we do. Greatest, worst, first, last. So I'll play along. Um, LeBron James, capped it last night, has had the greatest career in the history of that orange round ball. That's the greatest career. Productivity, titles, longevity, impact. That is the greatest career in the history of a game they've been playing a long time. And it was also the earliest it was spotted. Yeah, Joe Dumars, great player for the Pistons, former GM of the Pistons, was asked back in like 2000 who was going to be the first pick in the NBA draft and he said, if you asked every single GM today, they would take a high school kid. He's playing in Akron, Ohio. He would be as a sophomore, the number one pick in the NBA draft. That's why Tiger Woods and LeBron, that's who I really compare him to. They were spotted at 10 and 11 years old, completely separated from their peers at 12 and 13, and were stars by 15, ESPN was televising LeBron's high school games. I mean, it'd be like if Macaulay Culkin became Tom Cruise. You'd expect missteps, right? I mean, Hollywood devours 90% of child stars, and Tiger Woods has had several missteps as much as I love his game. Not LeBron. It's been masonry. Every year, dedicated, head down, working. But, Colin, there was the decision. Really? Still got you worked up? Get a therapist. The China conversation or comment, really? Angry about that? My guess is you're angry about a lot. 38-year-old LeBron, since 10 to 11 years old, like Tiger Woods, was spotted and identified. And from that day forward, he has separated from his peers. Last night at Crypto Arena, boy, has the world changed. LeBron was easily, in year 20, the best player on the floor. Oh, I know y'all love that kid for OKC, but does he have LeBron's leadership? I mean, last night was a classic Laker night. Anthony Davis checked out, emotionally remote. Didn't even stand for the moment. Seemed annoyed after. That's the... That's now what LeBron plays with. Westbrook had a million turnovers, and the Lakers, in the end, couldn't defend, couldn't make a stop, and lost. As LeBron was setting the all-time scoring record. Easily the best player on the floor. It's got a Tom Cruise feel to it, and since we're close to Hollywood here, Tom Cruise now is a brand. There's two things that get people consistently to the theater. Marvel movies and Tom Cruise. And there's very few things I see the ratings that get people to a TV set with the NBA. And LeBron's one of them, the Warriors the other. To be this great, this long, this relevant, in a completely distracted era where virtually everybody not named Phil Knight was on their phone during the moment is remarkable. And the pressure that has devoured Hollywood stars, people in other industries, all over sports, has never gotten in the way. Simply motivated and elevated the king. It is the greatest basketball career beginning to end. And the end isn't that close. I'm not going nowhere. Let's talk about that. So it was an authentic moment, right? He had practiced the hook shot. I saw it on my phone up to the game. He'd practiced a running hook in the lane as if a tip of the cap. 
to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar sitting courtside. But instead, he went with a shot he's hit <laughs> many, many times. The fall away, the fade, the struggles through all of our life change, right? You're in your 20s. It's about, you know, finding some professional success. And then maybe as you get late 20s, early 30s, you want to find that special person. Then it's about kids. And then it's... LeBron's interesting. He wanted to prove to everybody a kid from Akron could be great. We're way past that. He wanted to prove he could win titles. We're way past that. He wanted to prove he could have a brand and become a mogul. We're way past that. And I'm watching that last night. There's only four teams after the loss last night that are inarguably worse than the Lakers in the entire league. And that's with one of the top five players, LeBron James. Charlotte is, Detroit is, San Antonio is, Houston is. Feels like they're all tanking. So this season, realistically, from the very beginning to the smart people who follow this game, I mean, nobody thought the Westbrook thing was going to work. Come on. This season's been about LeBron and the record. And he's not really a scorer first, although he now, ironically, is the all-time scorer. So, like, Anthony Davis seemed to be, like, perturbed by it. But what's interesting now, and the struggle for LeBron now is very personal. You could put him on the Warriors tomorrow. They would win the title. You could put him on the Celtics tomorrow. They would absolutely win the title. You could put him on Milwaukee tomorrow with Giannis Middleton. They'd run away with the title. And I actually believe he could go back to Cleveland with that team, with a bunch of good players, and they would certainly fight for it. The Lakers front office will not fix this mess. They've been bad for nine of the last 10 years. And nothing ever ends perfectly. Brady, this last year, got kind of choppy in Tampa. Ali, Favre, Tiger, it never ends perfectly. Nobody gets the best start, LeBron, the longest, most productive career, LeBron, and a perfect ending, LeBron. It just doesn't work that way. This is about as elegant as it, as it looks. That he is still a dominant scorer, Stacking records, beautiful family, loving Los Angeles, business is humming, and there's always the but. But this team stinks. It doesn't work. Can't turn this thing around. They got no assets. So the struggle now for LeBron is the same one Tom Brady goes through. Man, if you put me on the 49ers tomorrow, I could win another ring. And for LeBron, I go play for nothing in some of these places and win another ring. But what does he have to prove? I think that's the struggle for greatness. Tom Brady will be able to sling it in, eight, in his 50s. <laughs> LeBron, easily the best player on the floor. Can't hand check. He's just bigger, stronger. Nobody can stay in front of him. He can bully ball it to 27 a night. What do you do? You were watching it, and you were thinking what I was thinking. You could put him on like five teams, and he could win more championships. As he said once in Miami, not one, not two. You put him in Milwaukee, he'd probably get three. Greatness, that becomes the struggle. It all kicks off Super Bowl Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern on Fox. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.